I think I'm, I'm beginning to feel I should grow my beard even longer than Pierre's, and then I could, you know, take this historical role in all seriousness. Um, this does go back a bit into forum's history, but I think it, it, uh, it is a very good example of the way that forum members have really cooperated together over time. Uh, and that was around a particular functional need that, that I think forum members felt at the time, which is that all of us were preparing uh, volunteers for international service and providing training courses before they went, uh, before they went away. And there was a general feeling that we had a lot to learn from each other uh, in, those, in those training courses. Practice was very different across, across forum members, and yet really we were trying to prepare people for the same experience and the same contribution. So some years ago there was a very active group of uh, training professionals uh, across forum which met quite separately from these IVCO meetings. Uh, they had that, that training workshop and they met regularly for about three or four years. They attended each other's training courses and had bilateral uh, meetings as well, shared training materials. And at the end of that three or four year period, they felt they'd probably learned enough from each other so that there wasn't very much point in meeting again. And I think that was a, that was a perfectly natural uh, evolutionary way for a, for a group to operate. It, it did improve the quality of training, I think, in many of the agencies that were involved in it. Uh, but it didn't need to go on forever. So whereas the research working group is a, is a kind of integral part now of the way that forum works because of that focus on research, the training working group was one that just existed for a while as a network, really, uh, for people to share experience and share learning, share materials. And then once that sharing had been done thoroughly over a number of years, then it, it passed away uh, quietly. Maybe it is needed to be resurrected now, I'm not sure. But, but it, had its, it had its place in time. It was very valuable for improving practice uh, between agencies. And then it, then it moved on. So that was a different kind of example. Can I ask you a sure. Uh, from my non-historic perspective. <laughs> <laughs> you have some grey hair too there, Nita. <laughs> they're not grey when it comes to <laughs> um, did, uh, did the, that working group, um, was it chaired? Did it have a leader? I don't think it did. I mean, it was just, it was a network of, of four or five, six agencies who wanted to share experience. And it, it, didn't need a, it didn't need a leader. I don't think it had terms of reference. It just, they, they met together. They, they shared a common interest, a, a common professional focus. Uh, for what they were doing, but it was much less structured than the, the research working group and, and quite different in character from the relationship that Peter described. But it was a, a much less structured uh, working group.